and I just remember sideburns and Confederate flag from my youth. That's all I remember. Did you grow up living with the Dukes of Hazard or something? No. <laughs> I have to say, Mark, I mean, Matchbox boys are over there, and I was wondering, looking at them all there, who's operating the dodgems tonight? <laughs> Do you want to uh, make a guess at who we'll may have been Graham um, Fenton and still is? We'll go at number four. I'll go at number four. Go at number four? Well, let's see. Would the real Graham Fenton please step forward? Yeah. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, still fighting Matchbox in 1988, Graham Fenton. So the Phil's team will have to identify Andy Scott, guitarist and keyboard player with 70s glam legends, The Sweet. And for our audience only, here's the Stack Hills drummer giving it some steel on the 1975 number two hit, Fox on the Run. Team part to choose from, however, only one is the real Hellraiser and the other is just Little Willies. Is it number one, Bedroom Suite? <laughs> and can I just say, whoever put that wig on him, for course. <laughs> How much of a non giveaway is that? <laughs> number one, Bedroom Suite. Number two, Bathroom Suite. <laughs> number three, Sweet Fanny Adams. <laughs> number four, Sweet Jerry Adams. <laughs> and number five, Sweet Little Mystery. <laughs> I just, uh, number three, I hope everything down at the offices of the Rick Wakeman fan club is going well. <laughs> now, Jonathan, I think you were a bit of a glam man, weren't you? Oh, uh, no, well, I was, I really did like the sweet and all that, and the uh, Papa Mumbo Mumbo, hey, Papa Joe, cook a nut. <laughs> hey, Papa Joe, <laughs> and the ball and bits. Yeah, but right now, I just like. haven't no. got a clue what to do. <laughs> Although that is the most grotesque selection of adult male I've ever seen. <laughs> and believe me, I've looked long and hard. <laughs> You're not available for my kid's birthday party next week. <laughs> Give him a scare. Keep him on a straight and narrow. <laughs> this is what can happen if you play with matches. <laughs> this is what'll happen if you play with yourself. Because <laughs> Ellie said it was Brian Connolly, wasn't he? Yeah. Now he's the big comedian with the pizza puppy. Yeah. <laughs> but I've heard a story about Sweet. I don't know if it's true, but I'm going to try it out and follow. See if there's a uh, just well, a Well, see different. if one of them goes, yeah, that's right. Well, he might. <laughs> I heard that they used well, to go on tour. Shut up, Mark. I heard they used to go on tour, and then the roadies, they, apparently, when they got to a hotel, or perhaps a working men's club, some sort of venue, they would hold young Brian aloft, and he would masturbate himself until he left what we can only describe as man sport upon the ceiling. <laughs> Why he did this, we don't know. Hey, number three's cracking. <laughs> You've seen this, haven't you? Anyway, apparently, up and down the country now, there's what we call the sweet spot on ceilings. No one even knows. <laughs> what the, well, I haven't got a clue what to do. The reason number three is laughing is because number three can do it without being held alive. <laughs> Love is like oxygen. <laughs> you get too much, you get too high. <laughs> you don't get enough, you're gonna... Jonathan, this, this round is you have to guess. <laughs> Uh, not to piss. Uh, Don't you have to sing a medley of their hits? I am, I am cleverly putting them at ease. <laughs> so one of them says, I confess it was me. <laughs> I don't want to bust your big old fantastic I've been advertising my favourite right chip shop bubble, Mr Ross, but I know but who know, it's been all you. along. Do you know it is? Do you did, know in fact, Phil, didn't for? we once, I've just realised, do a radio show together with this fella? Yeah, we did. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Number two. Got to be two. It's got to be two because Phil's met him quite recently. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's see with the real Andy Scott. Please make himself known. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Is it true? Was it true about the old? I bet you it was true. So. You, get two you know points. what? You get he just never told you, did he? Up. That's what it was. <laughs> you feel left out. Shut the fuck up, Ross! <laughs> Everyone else Ross, move, shut the top. fuck up! I implore <laughs> you! I beg <laughs> you! <laughs> shut the fuck up! Knowing 
next hey? story that got it, it was Phil's met him. That's what got the point. <laughs> I did the groundwork. <laughs> If anyone did, I introduced them to them. I know another good story about Paul Young, if you've got time. <laughs> Apparently, they're all in the back of the bus having a wanking competition. <laughs> OK, so you get the two points. Well, you've been there, mate. Oh, oh. <laughs> right, right, you get two points. <laughs> They're touring extensively with Andy Scott. Sweet, ladies and gentlemen, Andy Scott. So at the end of that round, Phil's team have got 10 points, Sean's team have got 13. <laughs> right, now it's time to hark back to those halcyon days when you and your mates used to laugh at your big sister at parties as she and her friends attempted to recreate elaborate sister sledge routines. It's back, it's dance hell. For Sean's team, this extraordinary piece of footage from 1981 featuring the irrepressible Legs & Co. <laughs> It's the original shake and back ad. <laughs> People who like to sit in pods and smell their own farts. <laughs> Is it too drunk to fuck by the dead Kennedys? <laughs> was it tragedy by the BDs? No. It was the last time I was there. <laughs> but wasn't the clip different? Yeah. Ah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Lateral thinking. Was it, what? was it My Black Judge is a Ballet Dancer by Visage? <laughs> <laughs> now, that was the name of the album, there was never actually a single called that. <laughs> right, right, yeah. uh, Relax by Frankie Goes to Hollywood. You're just going to sit here all night naming various... <laughs> <laughs> That's Lions the after tonight. I'm going to have to show you what it is. <laughs> 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 Believe it or not, that was the indomitable dance troupe's interpretation of Oh Superman by pretentious New York performance artist Laurie Anderson, so you don't get any points, I'm sorry. Oh Superman was actually an extract from a seven-hour piece. Well, it was the obvious single. <laughs> <laughs> Despite sitting through seven hours of that sort of thing, the crowd at one of her gigs still had enough energy to riot. They kicked the shit out of a bloke who shouted, More! <laughs> I just, uh, as you can probably tell, by shouting at Jonathan for so long, much as I enjoyed it, I'm losing my voice. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? That's the bloke from the suite left, that, and he's dressing. Why were you with me, Lamar? <laughs> <laughs> so, the Phil's team, and this gem from a couple of years earlier. Ah. Oh, the Queen's, Queen, Queen, Queen's Queen, Queen. Why are they dancing on England. Old Albion? Right. Yes. It's the new set for TBM's Weatherman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You see, if I'm be serious for a Is moment, it, um... when you see lottery money being wasted like that, you... <laughs> something's very wrong with the way the country's being run. <laughs> Six tarts on a rug. What about Girls, Girls, Girls? Girls, Girls, Girls by Sailor? That's always a favourite in my house. <laughs> Was it Oh Superman by Laurie Anderson <laughs> next week? <laughs> Was it Monkey Go Chop Banana by Danai? <laughs> <laughs> that got about number six or something. I remember that. Monkey <laughs> Go Chop Banana. <laughs> 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 Monkey. Oh, let's just say they got one more guess. Island Girl. Island Girl. Island Girl. Island Girl. No, wait, you're along the right lines. I think I know. It's the Chelsea football team FA Cup song that year. Let's let's see what it actually was. That was Legs and Co's interpretation of status quo's living on an island, so you don't get any points for that. In May 97, Quo veteran Rick Parfit was taken to hospital for emergency treatment after being told he had less than 24 hours to live. Doctors said it was the worst case of repetitive strain injury they'd ever seen. <laughs> and in that round, Phil's team got 10 points, Sean's team got 13. 